Scoring an own goal while defending against the opposing team's attack during a match is a situation not uncommon in the world of sports. However, there exists a tragic incident where a football player paid the ultimate price for such an unfortunate goal. The individual in focus is Andres Escobar, a defender representing the Colombian national team, who sadly lost his life due to a series of unfortunate events. In the history of football, the Colombian team had not achieved significant success. Nonetheless, they emerged as favorites during the 1994 World Cup. During that era, Colombia was notorious for its drug-related issues, with powerful kingpins providing substantial support to soccer. The national team's failure ignited significant anger among the Colombian population, subjecting them to threats from powerful kingpins. With an impressive record of only one loss in their last 26 matches and conceding a mere two goals in World Cup qualifiers, Colombia's performance was noteworthy. During the qualifying phase, they triumphed over the renowned Argentine team with a score of 5-0 on Argentine soil, arriving at the World Cup in peak condition. However, their World Cup group stage debut ended in an unexpected 3-1 defeat against the Romanian team due to a counterattack. The subsequent match against the host team, USA, was a crucial must-win game to advance from the group stage. In the 35th minute of the match, as the Colombian team fiercely contested against the United States, American midfielder John Harks delivered a cross. Although defender Escobar attempted to clear the ball within the penalty area, an unfortunate deflection resulted in an own goal. Following this goal, Colombia's defense faltered, leading to a second goal by the 52nd minute. Ultimately, they concluded the match with a 2-1 loss, resulting in their elimination from the World Cup group stage. The national team's failure ignited significant anger among the Colombian population, subjecting them to threats from powerful drug lords. Consequently, the footballers were placed under police protection due to threats to their lives. Despite suggestions for Escobar, the primary target of criticism, to visit his relatives in the United States temporarily, he declined and returned to his homeland. Upon his return, Escobar remained homebound for several days until he ventured out with friends on the fifth day. Around 3 a.m., after a night spent at a nightclub called El Indio, Escobar walked alone towards his parked car in the lot, encountering three individuals who engaged in an argument with him. Two of these individuals drew the firearms from their bag and proceeded to shoot Escobar six times consecutively. It was reported that the killer shouted, Goal! after every shot, once for each time the South American football commentator said it during the broadcast. Though Escobar was rushed to the hospital, his injuries proved fatal, and he succumbed 45 minutes after the incident. The perpetrator behind this tragic event was Castro Munoz, a bodyguard of a prominent kingpin. He was apprehended the day following the shooting and subsequently sentenced to 43 years in prison. More than 100,000 people attended Escobar's funeral, and an annual memorial service continues to be held on the anniversary of his passing. Furthermore, a fund was established in Escobar's honor to aid disabled children, and in 2002, a commemorative statue was erected in his hometown of Medellin. Escobar, whose life was tragically cut short due to an unintended goal, is still remembered by not only the Colombian populace, but also football enthusiasts worldwide. We appreciate your viewership until the conclusion and encourage you to like and subscribe to the Soccer 88 YouTube channel, where we consistently present distinctive sports-related content. Thank you for watching.